Today I'm going to show you how to make a lightweight, public land legal bow hanger out of Kydex. So stay tuned. My name is Clint Campbell and I run the Truth From The Stand Deer Hunting Podcast. If you're not familiar with me or the podcast, we talk about all DIY public land bow hunting tricks, tips, and tactics. And today I'm going to show you how to make a lightweight, public land legal bow hanger. So stay tuned. Alright gang, what is up? Today we are going to attempt to make a public land bow hanger, super lightweight, uh, to attach to my bow out of this Kydex that I'll be using with this tethered hitch strap. Keep me all public land legal. Adds no weight to the to the bow itself. Uh, I saw my buddy from uh, G2 Outdoors, Greg Godfrey, make one of these and thought it was a cool idea, so I wanted to kind of give it a try myself. What I'm using here, I'm going to be attaching it to, is a Matthews uh, VXR28. Um, and what I'm using for a quiver is a tight spot three arrow quiver. And so essentially what I'll do is create a hook out of the Kydex, heat it up, bend it, drill some holes in it, and then attach it where my, uh, where my quiver is currently attached to my bow. And then I'll be able to kind of hang it, hang my bow in the tree. I won't have to mess with hero clips or anything like that. Potentially forget them, lose them, whatever the case is. My hanger will all be, always be attached to the bow, which is nice. Uh, Kydex super cheap. Got it on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description so you guys, if you want to try it, uh, you can check it out there and pick, and pick some up. So with that, we'll just kind of go ahead and get started. The first thing I did was just measure the length, or the width rather, of the little adapter here that it connects my quiver to, to my bow. And that was just about mm, an inch and three quarters, roughly. Um, and so what I was thinking was, is I probably want close to three times that to get the hook uh, and the bend in the in the kydex itself. So what I'm going to do is mark this at probably six inches and then go from there and that'll be what I start to use to, to make my hook. So we'll go ahead and measure out six inches here. I think I measured this out to be, yeah, an inch and a half wide. So we'll measure this out to six inches now. Doesn't have to be exact. We're not building a rocket ship here. Um, this stuff is super hard, um, but I think you can score it with a razor blade and, and break it. If not, I have the Dremel that I'll use to, you know, cut this piece here. That way I can cut the lengthwise here with the, uh, with the knife and score it. So we'll see if this works. All right, now we have our piece of Kydex. I didn't do a great job of, of making it very even, but... We'll work with it. We can trim it up if we need to. The next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to hit it with a heat gun and uh, and kind of loosen it up so we can so we can bend it into place. Before we heat this thing up, uh, I need to mark where I want the bend at. So again, I measured the little adapter for the quiver for the tight spot quiver, and it is just about an inch and three quarters. So we're going to mark at two inches is where we're going to want to to start the bend roughly. So I think I might have already marked that. Yeah, we've got that marked at two inches, so we'll want to start the bend roughly there. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut along the corners to kind of make a V on both ends. Um, that way I can kind of grind it or file it off to make it smooth so I don't have any sharp edges while I'm in the in the tree. Also taper it just a little bit so it has an easier time sliding into the to the slots in the, in the tree strap. So I think I can do this with the, the X-Acto knife. If not, then I'll bust out a Dremel and just and, and cut it really quickly. Now we'll go heat this up, bend it, and what I'm going to use for that is a uh, is just a heat gun that I bought off of Amazon. So we'll go out and bend this really quick. We're going to need a hard surface to heat it up on, of course, we're going to be burning the house down. So going to go out and do that in the garage. All right, now I'm just going to use the Dremel to smooth out the edges of the um, of the Kydex and then taper it just a little bit because I didn't cut it very even, so we're going to make it just a little thinner. All right, what I'm going to do now is uh, just heat this Kydex up with this heating gun. I'm not sure how hot I need to get it, and then I'll try to bend it where I have it held. That didn't take much to bend at all. It didn't take much heat 
and it sets up pretty quick too so we'll let that harden and then we'll try to bend it back a little bit drill some holes and get it set to put in all right the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take the uh, tight spot quiver adapter off the bow and then make sure i have the right drill bit drill some holes in the kydex to place on the bow against the adapter to, to mount the hook. All right, so what I did was I ended up taking the heat gun, heating this up a little bit, heating up the kydex, pulling it back so I could get the, the screws into it, and then heating it up just a little bit more, and then folding it back. I'm probably gonna have to trim up a little bit of this, um, but it's on, fits, so now we'll take it out to the tree and uh, see how she performs. All right, so I'm in my saddle tree. This is my practice tree in the backyard. I have a predator platform here, just the rope that always hangs here. And I put the, uh, the hitch strap on this tree just to kind of show you how this thing works. So I already took the quiver off. Got the kydex piece there, loop, slides right in, boom, set it at the height you want. I always want mine kind of right where my hand's gonna be so I can easily grab it without doing a whole lot of movement as deer are approaching, as you can hear. Super quiet, can't hear anything. Public land legal, I'm good to go. Thanks for watching this video, and if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button to make sure you get all the upcoming videos and podcasts.